What's up, OAUXers? Today, I want to talk about OAUX and settings and how do we get settings into an object map. So thank you, Daniel P. from the Self-Paced Masterclass. This is a question from him about how do you actually document this? How do you document settings um, at a user level, at a global level, at an object level? How do you get that into an object map so you can discuss it with your team? Get it away from the UI so you're actually talking about the meaning behind all of those settings and not about a bunch of toggles and switches. Um, so object mapping can definitely do that for you. It definitely fits in. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how that works. So what I'm going to be looking at here is I'm actually going to be reverse engineering Mighty Networks, which is just a system that I use a lot. We use it for the certification program and there's settings galore. So I just got some screenshots. I did. It's not completely exhaustive. We're just showing a sample of basically how you might be able to do this. Um, and I think this will really give you some direction if you're looking to incorporate settings within your object map. And really the value of doing that, again, like I already said, is to separate your, <laughs> to separate the meaning, like what are those actual settings from screens, from the UI, so you can really just have a conversation about that and then figure out the best way to uh, let your users manipulate those settings. So let's start the time lapse and I'm just gonna talk through this. Okay, so basically I've got all of these settings screens pulled in and we're gonna start with the user one. So these are the user settings screen and basically I'm going through. And so a notification, just like whether they get notifications, a very common setting, that can just be metadata on the user for whether the notifications are on or off. So in this case, it's uh, app notifications, chat notifications, and system notifications. Also in settings, they have like my profile information. So that's just gonna be kind of like probably a lot of core content. So first name, last name, um, mini bio and about me, what's the difference between those? And then like all the personal links, there's a couple more of those. So that would all just be core content that the user can edit. Um, then there's a few more notification settings like whether you get email updates or not, um, whether you get mobile push notifications. And there is a little bit of conditional logic here. So if I have mobile push on, I'm gonna to want a phone number. Um, and then like if I have email on, it actually opens up this panel below for email frequency. Um, so I'm kind of just tucking my cards underneath there just to show a little bit of conditional logic. Then we've got all the notification types. And those are just basically a bunch of on-off switches, which I consider as metadata on the user. Just like a first name or a last name or a picture is core content on the end user, these are just other attributes of the user that basically say like, this is how I want the system to act. So now I'm just kind of stacking them up in an object map and pulling them off of the screenshots. Um, in the future, once I actually do a duplicate so that we can have that really nice kind of trail of information. But there, I just pull it off. Okay, so now what we have is the network. So this is kind of like the global settings, but network in Mighty Networks is actually an object. Um, here again, there's a lot of settings that are just kind of core content, the tagline, the description. And then we get into some more interesting settings on the um, uh, on the network, like whether there is an icebreaker question. And we still have some conditional logic there. So it's a still another, it's an on off switch, but if it's on, then we actually have to add the icebreaker question. Um, then if there's a form, then this like I'm tagging that as blue because that might actually be a nested object. And then we've got member communication. So things like is private chat on or off? So a lot of on off toggles. Um, and then this is a funny one here. There's like the ability to send a push notification to all your members. This totally doesn't belong in settings, right? This is something totally different. It's not a setting. It's at all. So a lot of times watch out for things that don't actually belong in settings. Settings should not just be an attic of stuff. It should really be configuring how somebody's experiencing a thing. So continuing on the network settings, we've got things like whether quick posts can be on or off. And then this is, we got some more conditional logic for all of these. So quick posts, articles, and polls, whether they're on or off, you kind of start, um, determining who can do those things. So then like we get some permissions in there as well. So again, these are just all attributes that I would put in my column in the object map. It's a lot of toggle switches, a little bit of conditional logic too, where if something is on, then you might need more information. And then I went ahead and did an article too. So you can see here, we've got some calls to action, such as save as draft and actually posting the thing. And then you can actually schedule the thing, the thing, the article, having a small 
perfectionist moment there. Oh, and can't spell, can't, don't, it's not going to help me. Okay, wonderful. Um, and then what we end up is like, if it is scheduled, we need a date scheduled. And we also have a state here. So I would make that as metadata. So we have draft, posted, live, scheduled, and probably like an archive or deleted as well. Um, and then there's this whole like notify everyone thing settings. It's like if you, when you post it, you can notify everyone, but it's impossible to go back to a post and see if you notified everyone on that post or not or change it. So it's a little bit weird. It's like a call to action that really should be a setting. So there's some of that too, right? Like what are settings is a whole other question. And it should be really be about configuring what that thing um configuring the thing, right? Whether it's a user or an entire network or a company or a post in this case. So hopefully this helps you kind of see how, um, how I might add, how you might add things like settings within your object map. And now I'm just kind of stacking it all together so you can see. And of course, this isn't completely exhaustive. These would just be the settings.